Hi, I'm Melba Pearson, and this is The Breakdown. If you enjoy the content in this video, like, subscribe, comment, and share with your friends. June 30th, 2024. 43-year-old Devante Mitchell was in a Hyatt Regency hotel in Milwaukee. We're not clear on what led to the interaction, but one thing is abundantly clear. Devontae Mitchell died after hotel security guards pinned him down in an incident that was partially captured on video. Police have now referred four charges of felony murder to the prosecutor's office, the district attorney's office in Milwaukee, and a homicide investigation is underway and continuing, as well as awaiting the results of Mr. Mitchell's autopsy. But this video is incredibly harrowing and problematic on so many levels. Mr. Mitchell was beaten with a broom, a broom, by the front desk manager. You see this on camera. You also see another security officer that was involved in this whole altercation, but didn't intervene and stop the manager from beating this man. It's not fully clear what caused this incident to happen. We know that Mr. Mitchell was not a guest at the hotel. It seems that he lived in the local community and there's a possibility that he was struggling with mental illness at that time. We don't know if he was having some kind of psychotic break or what the issue was. But again, how do you think that it's appropriate on any level to beat somebody with a broom? Like what happened to calling the police? What happened to, you know, using other ways to de-escalate the situation? This death did not need to happen. This was completely unnecessary. So basically, all we know is that Mr. Mitchell apparently was causing a disturbance. And again, that gives credence to the fact that this might be connected to mental illness but that is why the security guards ended up trying to escort him off the property because of whatever quote unquote disturbance was happening. So after the security guards tried to take him out, they ended up pinning Mr. Mitchell to the ground. And part of the video shows Mr. Mitchell grunting and pleading with the guard saying, I'm so sorry, please, I'm sorry. One of the guards who appears from the video to be white is heard saying, stay down, stop fighting. And some of the other guards, some of whom were people of color, were also seen holding him down. And that same guard, the one that was telling Mr. Mitchell not to fight, stay down, also says, this is what happens when you go into the ladies room. Again, not clear as to, did he go into the ladies' room? Did he, you know, was he freaking out and walked into the wrong bathroom by mistake? Like, again, there's just so many questions with regards to how this even came about and how we got to the point of this, this poor man being pinned down, beaten with a broom, and eventually killed. Now, another thing to consider, Wisconsin does have a citizen's arrest law. So that is the type of law where if a citizen happens to see a crime, they can detain someone until law enforcement arrives. But here's the key wrinkle in the state of Wisconsin. The citizen has to view an ongoing felony. So if they're not seeing a felony happen, you don't get the right to hold someone down and detain them. And so there's no indication that a felony was happening here. Because even taking on the surface, he wasn't a guest and maybe he was trespassing. Trespass, best case scenario, was a misdemeanor. If he ended up walking into the lady's bathroom, if he wasn't harassing anyone, that's actually not a crime. So again, the, the argument that this may have been a citizen's arrest doesn't hold water here. And that won't be something that they could use at trial. As a result of this incident, the hotel suspended and then eventually fired all the hotel employees that were involved in the incident. Now, they have not given an official statement as to how many folks were involved in this. And 
if that these firings included all of the security guards that were involved in this incident, but they did make a statement that they fired the quote unquote hotel associates is a term that they used involved in the incident. This is really disturbing on many levels, but especially for folks in Wisconsin, because if you remember, the murder of George Floyd happened not too far away in Minneapolis. And this only happened four years ago. So the concerns are still very real. The pain is still very raw. And the gut punch that so many in the community are feeling in viewing this type of video again, seeing another Black man begging for his life and dying at the hands of people who are supposed to, on some level, protect and serve, was too much of a deja vu and a very terrible flashback for the community. So moving forward, what we expect to see is that the district attorney is likely going to take up these charges. The question will be, is it felony murder? Will it be a, some sort of second degree murder? Will it be some kind of a hybrid between the two? We're not quite sure what's going to end up coming from that. And then also, What's going to be very critical is the final autopsy report so that we know that the cause of death is homicide. You will need that in order to prove the case at trial and also to understand the extent of the injuries Mr. Mitchell suffered. So again, that can be used to corroborate who played the biggest role in his death and the level of charges that each of the people involved should receive. So this is going to be an ongoing investigation and definitely a case that's going to be on our radar for the next few years. I'm Melba Pearson, and this was The Breakdown. Take care. If you like this video, please like it and subscribe. I'm Dave Ehrenberg, aka The Florida Lawman, here on the fastest growing true crime channel, True Crime MTN, and we'll see you next time.